So next weekend is Easter and we're going fishing for cats. So I'm just going to show you a short video of how I'm going to make my leech rig. The first thing we're going to do is use some of this Christen Quicksilver Gold 45 pound coated hit ink. We want to strip off 8 inches of that. And then we want a further 20, 20 inches. Okay, so now we want to get our size 1 barbless hook. We're going to pull our braid through the front of the hook. And at this point we just want to make sure that we have a small amount of the coated braid coming through the eye. And then we're going to create a whipping knot. So how to do that, we want to turn this round. We want to have a small tag coming off our hook. And then the loop. With the loop, we're going to wrap this round seven times back towards the eye. So that's our seven times round. Now what we need to do is pull our tag through, wet it a little bit, and then pull it through. Don't pull it too tight because we want to make sure that we have a loose enough that we can pull it back down towards the eye. So now we're going to pull this tight, then we're going to add an anti-tangle hook sleeve just over the knot in the eye of the hook. Then we want to cut this tag end off. Okay, this is what we're left with. And because I'm going to fish these popped up, I want to have 18 to 20 inches from the bottom. With the remainder of it, I'm going to tie a double overhanded loop. So you just want to moisten that. And then we're going to pull through, but I'm going to use my teeth to hold onto the tag. We're going to cut the tag off. Then we're going to loop a 100 pound barrel swivel through, like this. Okay, so now we want to cut off 8 inches of the stiff hook link. Then we want to put on a rubber stopper. to attach a rig ring. Once your rig ring's attached, you now want to attach a poly ball. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Obviously we can move this up. Don't want to move it up too far though. Until you've got your maggot clip on there, you want your poly ball to pop off. So now we're going to attach a swivel to the other end. To do that, we're going to get our swivel. Get through there. We want to get it around two inches away from our poly ball, like this. Throw that on. So you can get nice and tight. Now you've got this. 
So now we want to cut our tag end off. Now we want to secure this onto our, our hook using half a rubber bead. So, rub it through there. And you want to go just to that corner there. There you go. Finally, we're going to add a maggot clip. ring there you go so the reason we make these poly balls so easy to detach from our rig is because we're going to soak them in some of this mackerel potion by BioEdge this is extremely concentrated and potent so you don't need too much of it Just squeeze a little bit into your poly balls this is a smaller rig that I made earlier, just so that I can demonstrate to you how this rig is going to be working in the water. So I'm just going to get my Glamorous Assistants. They come in various shapes and sizes. These are available from BioFarm. So we have a small leech, as you can see. Very easy to handle, nothing to worry about. Pop him back in. And then we are going to be using the extra large leech. Let's just pop the lid off. And as you can see the size difference in these guys is immense. This guy is much much bigger. So what we want to do is attach the hook, the maggot hook to this larger end here. So to do that, let him dip his head in there. Um, we're going to hold him in nice and tight. He will try and wiggle out, so just be brave. And he put the hook right through the end. Hold on a sec, he's a bit slippery. Hold him nice and tight. And then we want to put his hook right through. all the way through like that and I'll explain to you later why we use this stiff hair you'll see exactly why when you see how wriggly they are. So we're going to pop that close so he doesn't escape. And then this is what you've got. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to make it all nice and neat and tidy. Like that. You see? So, let's go and have a look. Okay, this is what it's going to look like in the water. So we'll just drop this in. Let him swim around. So now you can see why we've created the stiff hair, because otherwise he's likely to get tangled. So it just keeps everything nice and buoyant and keeps him swimming. I'd just like to thank you for watching, please try the rig out, I've had huge success with it and I'd also love it if you could subscribe to the channel and um, watch the rest of our fishing videos, thank you.